Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. Coaches, the Jamoti Podcast is powered by Shoot360. The future of basketball has arrived in Dallas, Fort Worth. Shoot360 combines the latest sports technology with the fundamentals of basketball skill development. The result is a one of a kind video game like basketball program designed to improve your shooting, dribbling, and passing. Visit shoot360dfw.com to learn more and register for your free one hour workout evaluation. Shoot360, the future of basketball is here. What's one quality that you see in great leaders? Enthusiasm. Every day, every day you have to have juice. And if if you don't quite have the juice and you don't have an assistant with you, you know, you got to find a way to provide that juice. You you got and if I don't care what it takes, if you got a you got players on your team that you're really close with, hey, you know, our money, I'm a little low on fuel today. I need you to somewhere you you as a leader you have to you you have to be trustworthy enough to um to hold your players accountable and let them have the keys and let yeah. them have responsibility but if you don't have enthusiasm then you're not you're not going to get anywhere and i don't care what it, if it's in the house you know you got to have enthusiasm so you know, I'm I'm a dad, and I'm definitely not perfect. But you got to you got to have that energy. You got to have that, that juice. You got to have that fire. And I mean, I, I learned that being a coach's son, but I also learned that from watching sports. Um, being a big Yankee fan and and growing up and watching these fearless leaders like uh, Don Manningly or Derek Jeter um, that there was never a day that either one of them didn't provide that juice for their team. And, and, and then it's, it's not just your, you know, your basketball coaches and, and all of our great leaders have flaws. I mean, Tiger Woods is, is <laughs> probably has more flaws than anybody, but I can't think of a greater example of guy that shows fire and passion and, and, and people are, fascinated by what he does because of his enthusiasm and juice for life. So they got to have juice. There are so many laid back leaders. Yeah. It's easy to be laid back leader. If you're coaching seven McDonald's all Americans, (laughs) but I don't, I can't, I don't do that. So I don't know any other way. (laughs) I I love that you shared that word. I mean, this week when, when we're talking, our word that we're discussing and taking apart all week long is enthusiasm. It's one of our pillars. And we we said at the very beginning of the week, nothing great was ever done without enthusiasm. We're talking about great things. You can be, like you said, you can be average or good even sometimes without it. If you want to be special and stand out, then you are going to bring enthusiasm. And I love the idea that you brought up of, of us as coaches having to mirror that have to, we have to have it because uh, we we demand, I think most of us demand that our players bring some type of spirit or joy every day. But do we always demand that from ourselves, or are we allowed to? You guys, I'm not. I'm not. I think I've even said this before. I'm not your cheerleader. I'm not. It's not my job. It's your job to bring the energy. Your job to bring the juice, like you're saying. And even though I, I try to uh, most days, but if we ask them on the days where they're not feeling like it to fake it until they make it. And they at least fake it until at one point it starts to become real. Man, yeah. we have to do that too, right? Oh yeah, I mean we do, and and you know, at a place like Clear Lake, and our our reputation is is that of a well-to-do uh, high school, which is quite the opposite. It's right in the middle. You know, we have we have kids from all walks of life. However. We also play in a 3,000 seat gym. We have our own weight room. The kids have a beautiful locker room. So I, if I don't do that, you know, my kids are going to be soft as a wet Q-tip. Yeah. 
And so I don't care what it is. One day, um, they were going through the motions and I can't stand, I cannot stand uh, out of bounds uh, zone defense or out of out of bounds uh, offense plays. I, I can't stand coaching them. It's just standing around, right? Mm. But I know they're important. And a couple of our leaders were lollygagging and I got so angry to, I said, I got to liven this practice up. I just said, what are you doing? There's no desperation. And I grabbed my keys and I, I was at one, I was against the wall by the Gatorade bucket where the, the end line is. And I threw my keys and they went straight into the trash can against the opposite wall. And the whole place just died. Laughing. So sometimes you luck out with enthusiasm you know yeah, it doesn't always, that's good it doesn't always backfire. sometimes you stumble upon it right <laughs> i mean we're all morons like every single one of us we're morons so it, it i think there's a nugget there and in, in maybe you know not taking ourselves too seriously yeah obviously exactly. we're trying to be excellent every day and, and have a level uh of that uh, across what we're doing but then also remembering i so saw i try to just remember this is this is five, a taps. I'm at grapevine faith Christian school. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't need to take myself too seriously. <laughs> you know, like, like we, we can't have fun. And, and, but that, and that was relationships that you talked about earlier and bringing the juice every day. Yeah. That's big. Can't forget. And, and you know, where we are, I don't, I don't care where you are. You need to look at it. In my opinion, I think we all need to look at it as this is an entertainment industry. Hmm. We got to be entertaining to our players. We got to enter, be entertaining to the people at the game um, and our community. So the more passion and energy that you can provide, I'm not talking like Nick Curios, the tennis player, you know, <laughs> slamming rackets and stuff. But That's interesting. Uh, have well, some passion. Because I think the way that you play, the way that you guys shoot the ball, um, that idea of being entertaining, it, it – it links together. It goes with it. And I, that's the way we play. I mean, I, before games, sometimes I'll remind the guys, listen, and not, in a, not, in a, not just in a joking way, but listen, there, there's people out there that paid five to seven dollars yeah. to watch five to seven dollars to watch you play. Think about that, fellas. Let's let's give them a show. So I, I'm right on board with you. Let me ask you this. Does style of play. Can you be entertaining, energetic, show your passion, put on a show? But I have a style of play that doesn't always reflect that. Sure. Sure. You, and, and in high school coaching, unless you're at schools that I won't mention, we don't recruit our own players. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, you have to you have to change your style of play every every year. Yeah. So um, there's there's times you can be entertaining in a if you have a team that can't really push the ball well because maybe maybe you have more size and, and less speed but you can be entertaining by sharing the ball um we have a team that's very fast um not like a task fast but we have a fast team and we're a, a little on the skinny side so uh we're going to entertain through running, but, you know, we're not going to let our opponents run. So we could be pressing and we'll still press, but to slow the opponent down. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can, you can clearly be entertaining without having one year. Um, not too long ago, we made it all the way to the state finals and we, we played us pretty basketball. It was pretty pure basketball and i said before the year started that we need to break records for three-point shot attempts and i don't think i've ever even come close to having as few three-point shot attempts with a team all they did was take layups and pull up jumpers in the lane and get to the free throw line but they were pretty entertaining now, these guys that i have now they have to they have to bite people's ankles off and and dive on the floor and take charges. And that's my way of, and score a lot of points by doing that. That's my way of being entertaining. So 
you have to you have to change your style every year. Um, well, hopefully you don't, because that means you've had some longevity with, you know, you might have two good sophomores, yeah, uh, and then they progress. But being realistic, uh, you you do have to rearrange and and restyle, um, recalibrate, whatever you want to call it every every year with your style of play. And there's a maybe a difference too between style of play and then concepts that you teach. Concepts sure. that you teach can stay, and you can yeah. mold them into any style of play. But style of play, like you said, does have to change. And it made me think too what you're saying. It's not necessarily what you do, but how you do what you do that is important. And that's what people will see that passion, enthusiasm, regardless of of if you're pack lining it, walking it up the floor, you know, five passes before you shoot. Like yeah. Hoosiers, it doesn't really matter as long as, like you said, there's a there's maybe um, an attitude about what you're doing. Right. I agree. Totally. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.